Shehu Sani blasts Buhari. They want Nigerians to pray against insecurity and the government should not be blamed for the very insecurity of which they are in charge. Hello, my wonderful people. This is happening right now. This is what is going on. The Nigerian government, you know, are saying that uh, Nigerians should pray against insecurity and uh, Nigerians uh, should not blame the blame the government for the current insecurity. Like who should it, who should Nigerians blame? We brought you up to speed yesterday that President Muhammad Buhari uh, said he prays that God will listen to the prayers of Nigerians and, you know, help with insecurity. But you are not doing anything about it. As a matter of fact, you are speaking against everything, okay, that could potentially bring about security in the nation. You, 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 you started by saying you are doing what we call repentant bandit program, which was a scam. We all know because you don't want anything to happen to them. You started by doing that. And look at where we currently are at the moment. You started by saying you are having repented body program, which was a lie. It was a big scheme. It was a big lie. And uh, after that, you, for you to even call them the true name of who they are, you refused. And uh, they just gave them one funny name, say some sets that are the terrorists, not every one of them. And now you want Nigerians to pray. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Shea Usani, a former lawmaker who represented the good people of Kaduna Central, Sanitaria District, is one of Nigerian activists that never fail to speak out whenever his voice is needed to be heard. He speaks out whenever there is issue. Recently, Shea Usani has taken his, to his official page, Facebook page, to speak on the issue of insecurity. In the country why sharing on his official handle the president of the civil rights congress of nigeria she Usani, revealed that some people said that the issue of insecurity should not be politicized and the government should not be blamed for the issue of insecurity in the country currently what we see is that president muhammad buhari has asked nigerians to pray pray against insecurity and do nothing about it he himself has not done a single thing Furthermore speaking, Shehufani made it known that they want Nigerians to pray against the security of the country and they should also appreciate the things the federal government has done. Don't for who and how. However, the spoken senator stated clearly that they have forgotten that that, that was not the way they responded to the issue of insecurity when they, when they were in the opposition Adding that, good luck, Ibele Jonathan was not fit to be Nigerian's president. They went out on a protest and made sure that he was not given opportunity to rule again. Furthermore, Shehu Sani revealed that they blamed the government of these days and they criticized, they, they criticized and they fought against the very person who was much better Good luck, Ibele Jonathan. Then this current administration, we've come to find ourselves. And they never prayed against the security then. Now they want Nigerians to pray against the insecurity. They never appreciated the government. Now they want Nigerians to appreciate them. What Good luck, Ibele Jonathan did then was much better than what we are currently experiencing now. Nigeria must move forward and we must come out of the current issue if we are honest. So this is what is going on right now. This is what is happening. They said Nigerians should pray. Okay. They want Nigerians to pray. They want Nigerians to appreciate what they are doing. They want Nigerians to pray and to appreciate what they are doing. Listen, guys, the issue of what is happening in this country, eh? every one of us must realize that we have a set of people who are a bunch of liars. Okay. When good luck Billy Jonathan was there, they were the ones who were, you know, this, who ensured that, you know, that everybody saw him as the worst person ever who could not maintain or look after the country. They made sure, they made sure of it. They made sure of it. So currently speaking, you can see what is happening. And yet they say Nigerians should go and pray. That's what Buhari said. So they want Nigerians to go and pray. What will they be doing? What is the Buhari doing to ensure? He is giving them, in fact, he's no longer speaking. You know, he's no longer speaking on anything going on. In fact, in Niger State, in Bornu State and the rest, there are secret 
publicly releasing them, secretly releasing them. Okay, Buhari can do nothing to them because he has a part with them. Garuba Shewu is saying Nigerians should pray, they should appreciate what Buhari is doing. They should see what Buhari is doing. And Shehusan is asking, did you see what good luck Ibele Jonathan was doing? That guy, in, 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 you know, gets the support of foreign mercenaries to ensure that they bring his security to an end, which was broadly stopped by President Muhammad Buhari. Did anybody see what he was doing? And right now, you want Nigerians to see what Buhari is doing. You want Nigerians to, I mean, excuse me, how much lies can we tell to ourselves? Should we, it's, 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 it's bad enough that you're lying to somebody, that you're not lying to your very own self. Does it make sense? It's bad enough that you're lying to somebody, okay? It's bad enough that you are lying to somebody and you are portraying a false statement and making it seem true or real. But you're not doing that to your very own self. How do you sleep with yourself? How, I mean, how do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? You know, so these are some of the things going on currently right now. These are some of the things happening. You know, this is what is happening right now. These are the people. These are the people who are destroying this nation with their very own hands. Have you heard, between you and I, have you heard of any of these bookers being, apart from the, the, the lies they tell us that uh, the, the police or the army, they did this number of persons. Have you seen them? Who, who did you see? The other day they told us that Bello Terju was, uh, was, was coming to lay down, his, lay down his arm. Now they are telling us it's the same person who is now running to the south and committing all forms of atrocities in on those states and some other states where there's been heightened insecurity. So who exactly are we deceiving? A nation where there is no direction, these are some of the things that go on. A nation where people in government have interest in some of the wickedness going on. You cannot, nothing good can come out of there. Nothing good, I can assure you, can come out of there. Because we have a set of people who are fraudulent, bad guys. Sadly, they are the leaders. That's why if you are interested and you have anything to contribute to leadership, please, please, please join. Join politics or let's form a political party. That's the way we can get rid of them. That's the only way, to be quite candid. That's the only way we can get rid of it all. That's the only way. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.